morning and welcome back to the official vlog. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Um, we are preparing to leave town tomorrow provided both of our COVID tests come back good. Um, I'm a little concerned because I've had some like weird symptoms like some coughing but I think it has a lot to do with um, allergic sinusitis um, or allergic rhinitis I think it's called. Um, I really got to go see an ear, nose, and throat person because it's I've, I've had enough. Um, Clover is here as you can see. Hello. Hello, Mr. Clover. We just were out on a walk and um, he is here now uh, to hang out with me. So tomorrow, hopefully, we will be able to leave and go to um, my parents down in Maryland. It was the first time I would be able to see them since the pandemic, so I'm very excited to see what they're up to and um, spend a little quality time with my fams. Um, but uh, since we are leaving tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and pack a small bag today. Maybe I'll pack it tomorrow, I don't know. But we're going to try out um, a mop that was sent to me uh, about a month ago uh, by a Chinese company. So it is the competing mop to the Brava M6 by iRobot. So hopefully uh, we'll see how it works. I'm intrigued because it had some sort of, it looks like it had some sort of scrubbing mechanism, which the M6 does not. So let's go ahead and take a look. I've already unboxed it and set it up. Uh, and now we just got to try it. And you're going to watch me try and figure it out. So since it was sent to me before, it was all the stuff was released in English. I had to print out some English directions. So let me just go grab those real quick. Okay, it's in this dark hallway and here is the instruction manual. Um, so let's see if we can figure out how to use it. So the model they sent to me um, does not speak English. Okay, so we've got some cloths that came in. These look like they were usable cloths and these look like disposable cloths. So we'll go ahead, because the, look, the instruction manual, um, I, I cannot read this. As much as I would love to be able to read this, I would be like a super intelligent person if I knew uh, how to read this, but I, I do not. Uh, this is not my native language, so I'm going to, uh, I had to print, print this out. All right, let's go ahead and look at the machine. So we got the main machine, the charging base, the moisture mat. Wait, wait. <laughs> it's so hard for me to tell what's what. Okay, so I that that was odd. There's a bunch of like this must be like how much liquid there is in here. Oh boy. Okay. So inside, um, there is. Oh, okay. Here we go. I lift it up. So there's this little like gray thing. Here's inside. There's like a little gray button or whatever, and then there's this this. Um, so I'm I am trying to understand these directions. I'm a water capacitor. So I can just put water in there. Um, I suppose. Okay, I just need... <laughs> wow. These are not... Um... I can't understand these instructions. So, um, I'm going to fill up the cup with water, the included cup. Wait, where is it? Clover has it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill this up with water. There is no indicator line on this cup. And I am going to just start the machine. I think the middle button is start. Um, but we'll, we'll do an experiment. We'll do a fun experiment. So uh, let's, let's, let's just do this. There, we'll turn on the light. Kind of like, don't anyone say anything about my sock. I know it's 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 on it's swan song today. Okay, this is the last time I'm gonna wear this sock. Rip. Okay, I guess we're just gonna fill this. Whoa, fill this up with water. Okay, Clover, Clover Bean, you're not in. You you are not the star of this video. Although I would like it if you were. All right. So how do we put on? Oh, okay. I guess we'll do this. Okay, it's like Velcro-y. And you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna try and start it. So let's turn it on, and we're gonna just press start and see what happens, right? Oh, is this not start? Hmm. Shortly press to start cleaning. Long press to turn on and off. So number number four. Number four.
Oh, the power button is also starts it? Okay. Okay, Clover, watch out. We're gonna start it. Here it goes. So far, it's pretty loud. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's making a lot of noise. So it's just, we'll see what it does. So far, I don't see any wet floor yet. Clover is like, what is going on? <laughs> All right, when does the mopping start? I'm excited for the mop. Uh -huh. All right, so uh, there's no water at the bottom here. Oh my gosh. So I'm, I just wet these, I just, okay. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see if that does anything awesome for us. This isn't right. <laughs> well, oh, okay, like it goes in here. Same with this guy. Uh, great, do your thing. You can tell but it is it does have little like scrubby feet I think can I like zoom into it let's see yeah you can see it a little bit so the difference between this and the m6 is that it's like kind of scrubby now that I've figured out how to get it to work it's it's actually not bad it's not bad I'm not gonna lie I was all ready to like kind of cancel it, but it's not, it's not bad. It's just really loud. Like this is so loud, but it's like kind of scrubby. So I don't, I never had an iRobot scuba. Um, and you know, one thing I really have to say about it, if you can hear me, is that it does, uh oh, you're gonna go in there? I don't think so. It does tend to be noticing obstacles in this environment, if I must say something about that. I'm gonna be honest and say I was I wanted to cancel it because it was really frustrating because these instructions are not easy to understand. But um, it is doing it's doing a pretty good job. Go little machine, go. In the meantime, I do have another mop to try, and I will try that probably tomorrow um, for maybe that part of the vlog or make it all make it its own separate video. But um, see how hear how loud that is. <laughs> um, but I will. Uh, I'll show that to you tomorrow. All right, I'll let you know when it's finished. <laughs> okay, bye. All right, checking in on the handy mopper. It did try to go onto the carpet. I'm curious if it's gonna do it again. I know the M6 does stay away from carpet. Oh my gosh, I need to cut this little piece off, but we'll see what happens. Okay, staying away. I don't think you can get here, little guy. Yeah, it's trying to figure it out. You really can't do it. No, oh my gosh, no, no. I wonder if it's gonna be able to get out of this. No, it's on the carpet. Oh no, no, no. Okay, so updates, it hasn't, <laughs> it hasn't evolved enough to learn that it shouldn't go on this carpet. This is a pretty high pile of carpet, so technically this should be an obstacle. I'm gonna stop it with my toe. Um, and I hope it figures out that it can't, it can't really go this way. Um, yep, let's see, figure it out, little guy. I am concerned about this, like, when it's going to, how it's gonna get back to its little charging area. I'm actually gonna, there we go, we'll turn that off. Like, have this right here. All right, I'm, I'm curious whether or not it can get back to its little, its home. All right, it's around its charger, and it's like pushing its charger, which is not a good thing. Um, because how is it gonna go back to recharge if it's doing this? So I'm slightly concerned it's not going to be able to return home. All right, is it going to go? That's the wrong way though. Come on. Come on. I am shocked that it actually 
made it and is able to charge? Is it? It's like, it's slightly off. Can you see? Like there are little points of contact there and they're both too far to the right. I'm gonna slide it over just a, t a tad so that it's like even. Wow, that was touching. It's very touch and go. So my initial thoughts, would I recommend this machine uh, instead of the iRobot M6? At this point, probably not. Um, I think it costs the same. Um, I will put a correction on the screen if I'm wrong. It's very loud. Um, it does do it with the scrubbing, which is a really, really good thing. I did appreciate that, but the, the base is very flimsy and it's very touch and go about whether or not it wants to go home. And I'm actually very shocked that it made it back to its base and was able to charge. So um, we'll see, maybe I'll run it a couple more times, but, um, and then I'll update you in the future. But for now, I would say um, if, you know, if it's cheaper than the M6 and you wanna look for another alternative, I say like, give it a shot. Um, but if you can afford the iRobot M6, I would say go for the M6. Um, but know that the M6 doesn't scrub. It just sprays and does that, um, which is good enough for me. So uh, that's the adventure with that. Good times. Good morning. Oh my gosh, I look interesting. So I've I've uh, woken up not so long ago. It's like 9.21. So um, what I'm gonna do is uh, get ready for uh, travel day, maybe travel day, maybe not. Um, okay, update is the train is so loud. Husband and I are both negative on our um, uh, COVID test, so we are good to travel. And um, the, uh, I guess I'm going to get ready to get the house ready for us to travel, um, you know, because I don't want to like have it be dirty when we come back. And um, I guess I just have to uh, pack and uh, figure out what we're going to do for our trip. We were initially gonna like stay halfway, like in New Jersey, overnight, and then make another four hour trip because four hours and four hours is less painful than eight hours. But um, I don't know if we're gonna have that choice because the place we wanted to stay is sort of um, not available. So, um, but I'll figure that out after the shower. Gotta take Clover out, gotta tire him out. Uh, I got last Tuesday, so I'll take you with me on the journey. Yay, I promise I won't look like this when I come back to you, okay. All right, it's Monday morning, I am over my like weekend bummed outness. I was very bummed all weekend about not visiting my parents. Um, I don't know if I explained in an earlier clip, but um, we could not go. So uh, I was bummed out all weekend. I like was, I didn't do anything. I was like sad. So, um, but I'm over it. And this morning I've got to clean up the house some more. And I'm actually gonna go and um, put my ballot, my, my Massachusetts ballot in the ballot box um, and vote. So um, just wanted to remind you all, I know that this is probably gonna come out before voting, but please, please do your civic duty and vote in any way you can. I know that it's crazy this year, but like, just go and vote. So I got my ballot in my bag, I think. Can you see it? Yeah, there it is, ballot in the bag. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go and walk and drop it off, right Clover? Ready to go? All right, let's head out, let's go. Sunlight that always stays Dinner by the waterway it's that sweet life Raise your cross Made some do crack a smile He asked if I could stay a while I'm living that high life Time to catch a flight but you can make me go Unlocking all the memories of my new home Ventilated echoes playing to and fro To and fro some kids dancing in the alleyway Crazy how the melodies began to play, yeah Tell me how you feel it when you hear the lyric, yeah My heart's in Stockholm Now I never wanna go home 
Well, it's me again. Uh, I am, stop looking please. I'm home, I am gonna get ready to film another video, but I thought I'd chat with you for like a sec before I ended this vlog, this strange vlog, which I don't know how much there's gonna be. Oh my gosh, you have some foliage stuck in your feathering, little man. I can feel it going all the way. Like, oh, oh, what? Um, but I wanted to, oh, before I say anything, a lot of you guys ask about my this lip color when I put it on, you guys go nuts. So um, I will say right now, not a beauty guru, but th this is the YSL Vinyl Lip Stain in Lip Cream Stain, something like that in Burgundy Vibes, and it's awesome. Okay, so I wanna preface this with good, good things are happening. I, this is a good problem to have. I'm not in any way complaining. Um, however, but uh, over the last few months, um, I've been doing a lot of like outside stuff, uh, like outside of YouTube stuff. A few of you noticed that I had a uh, BuzzFeed article that was published um, about organizing and there are some other things in the works and I have other projects that I'm doing for things outside of YouTube but because of YouTube. So it's really cool that like people are finding me and then I'm doing all these different things but it's getting um, very tricky for me to balance everything and because of that I feel this is eating away at me like every day <laughs> that I have been sort of behind on the membership um, content. Uh, like I'm like a couple of months behind and I promise that I will actually be making up that content and be back on the regular schedule as of like next month. Um, but I just, the whole like surgery, uh, the other projects where uh, there were like deadlines, um, it just, it got really out of whack. Um, and also the, the, the joy and the, the enthusiasm that I had for creating content for my other channel, which now has 10,000 subscribers, I don't know what's going on, um, has been a little bit distracting as well. Um, I'm gonna be honest. So um, I, I wanna apologize for, for those of you who have been very patient and who are in the membership program, but I, I will definitely make up for um, my uh, lackluster uh, appearance over the last couple of months because now that I'm feeling better and can like do stuff um, I kind of didn't realize how I mean the 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 healing from surgery in itself was not a very long process like I've felt okay enough to do things about two weeks after but I just have been kind of, kind of like sore to be completely honest with you um, and the motivation to, to do things has been way down there also um, there is something going on in the background with my family that has been uh, very stressful. I will be transparent with you. I have shared this with members, um, but not with um, with the rest of you guys that my um, my father is uh, a, has early onset uh, dementia, whether it be Alzheimer's, whatever kind of demen dementia um, you can get. And it has been super uh, fast moving. It just adds a little bit to the difficulty of um, keeping on top of things. So again, I want to apologize for just being a little bit behind on stuff. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to catch back up and um, be here for you guys. Um, but I mean, I, again, I know how important it is to take care of yourself sort of in a, in a self care kind of way. And um, this weekend when I didn't travel, I, I, I did say that I was kind of like in a bad place emotionally. I just had mentally prepared to make that trip. And then when I didn't, I just kind of shut down and I did nothing for the past couple of days, which um, maybe is healthy. Um, but I, I, a person who is a, um, I guess someone who does a lot and doesn't really take a lot of breaks is not a, like a, it didn't feel awesome. Um, so um, I'm hoping that in the future, I will be able to take some more of those respites and have it feel not, not awesome. Does that, that may make any sense. I don't know. I'm just, I'm rambling. There are a number of things I need to get to. I'm expecting, I'm actually expecting a call from a friend of mine any minute now. So I'm hoping um, we'll have a nice chat. And after that, we will look at a brand new product that was sent to me. I'm very excited to show it to you guys. And that'll be in the next video, hopefully. Um, but I just wanted to say, I hope you guys are having a great morning, great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are. And I will see you in the next one. I love you all so much. Thank you for <laughs> watching this crazy vlog. And um, tell your loved ones you love them. Okay.
<laughs> you don't have to get down. You can stay up there if you want. What are you doing? Do you want to be in my lap? Is that it? Is that the real, is that the real truth? Come, okay, come on. Come on, you look like you want to get down. Come on, I will help you. Here. Okay, all right. Here we go. That's where you want to be, huh? Okay. 